Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Reber. 30 wins is Eden. Last one was pretty spectacular. Um, this one looks a little risky right off the bat. Chocolate milk? That's a can. That's soy milk, isn't it? Oh, it's chocolate milk, thank god. It looks like a can. I know it's not a can. It's meant to be a 3D representation of a glass, but I believe that soy milk looks almost exactly like that. R A E S K H O V. U uh, zero V. With an emperor card. Uh, and Cricket's body with chocolate milk. Really gonna fuck up our range, pardon my French, but uh, also going to do a lot of damage. We got a little bit of a glass cannon run right from the get go here, but I like it. All we need to do is pick up some early HP. And the Emperor card, a nice touch. Might not immediately be able to get uh, as much use out of it as we'd like. But if we can save it till later, then that's great. If we can use it to get out of a curse room without having actually, uh, you know, killed ourselves, then that's even better as well. I may use it on this floor to get out of the curse room, but I've really got to, like, nail this floor. I've got to probably pick up a Spirit Art somewhere down the line. Or uh, get HP from the boss, and then I'd be more comfortable doing it. For now, I'm a little bit suspicious that I'll, I'll be in a comfortable enough position to go for it, but we'll see. One thing's for sure, I don't want to do it right now and then accidentally get hit by a champion or something and just fuck up my chances. But, this is a its a good start. Uh, the, the HP is good, the tier effect is awesome, and uh, also, what the hell is going on with my chocolate milk fully charged face? Have you seen this? It doesn't quite look right, I don't think that's how tiers work, but uh, I respect your right to... To manifest them that way, game. Faces of Isaac Tumblr claims yet another victim there. And, oh, we didn't kill the Gish in one hit, which is actually a big surprise to me. Which should be an indication of how good our damage is right now. That I was basically like, oh, we're going to kill this guy in one hit. We're one-shotting pretty much everything. I mean, it's a, it's a slow one-shot because we're using chocolate milk. But it's a one-shot nonetheless. See if we can get the pot out of this as well. You never know if it might pay out a little extra money. And indeed it did. Now, with four Spirit Hearts... I'd still like to see HP from our boss, so that we can give Red Hearts in a deal with the Devil. There's another Tinted Rock there, but um, and another Tinted Rock there, actually a little harder to get, but... Uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy with this situation. If we get HP, that would really take it to the next level. Anyway, the Chocolate Milk Shot's working out very nicely. I don't know if we even want Piercing Shots at this point, but we might want Homing Shots. Homing Shots would really allow those Cricket's Body Shots to do even more damage. Uh, I think the Parasite might synergize well with it, or it might do nothing at all, which are... You know, that's that's the wild card of Isaac synergies. Which I would totally watch on ESPN3, but let's see. What do we have here? HP! I think I may just sacrifice one Spirit Heart outright in order to go to our Curse Room. Uh, and save the Emperor card, which is now worth a lot more than I think it was even relatively recently. I think maybe I could... Nah, I think it's okay. I was like, maybe we'll go to the shop and try to buy a bomb or something. Let's see what's going on in here first. We get two pills. We will take them. Paralysis. Pretty much meaningless. I found pills. Also meaningless. But we learned a little bit of information. I think we'll just head down to the next floor. And I might... Just use the Emperor card right away, but I'd rather use it to like pop out of a curse room into the boss fight, pick up that quick deal with the devil and see what's up, but... Let's uh... Let's do it. The reason I would like to do that is just to get like that deal with the devil as quick as possible, but... There's not really any real urgency associated with it. Curse of the Lost... I don't really want to do this room, and I will admit Curse of the Lost makes me even more likely to use this Emperor card, but... We don't really have a... a a huge impetus to do so, like I mentioned. Even with Curse of the Lost, it's not like this is a big floor, and it's not like we're behind the clock or anything like that. We're doing totally fine. Should be shooting the poop, but that's um, a little bit beyond me. Not in terms of, like, intellectual ability, but in terms of, like, uh, tedium? <laughs> Acceptance of tedium, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at there. Uh, I'm not gonna... Wow, that was a great homing shot there. Really kept its speed as it went around that corner. Um... I'm, I'm just not in the market for petrified poop if it requires shooting every single piece of poop that we have here. Of course, we, we don't shoot every poop, we just have to shoot every poop until it gets paid out, but that's still uh, a bit of a tall order for me. Let's just focus on not taking damage. That's much more up my alley. We do have a bomb, if we can find a tinted rock. I'd like to pick up a small rock. Extra spirit hearts are not going to be uh, necessarily immediately as useful. Maybe a crawl space opportunity there, and yet another big room. I should point out as well, you know, our... Oh, I thought I could deke him a little bit there. Our damage is not bad, so we could use, um... 
the pennies from Magic Fingers to do that. It's just a, or to take out this room, I should say. But it's a little dangerous, or it's a little finicky. Dangerous is probably not not the right word, but it's a little finicky to do that so early on when money is very you know important. You don't have a hundred cents; you've got five. That could be the difference between buying a key if we need one later, or buying a spirit art if we need one later. So. Probably I'll just try to kill enemies with my above average damage right now, and then we'll, we'll deal with the rest as it comes. Uh, I will open that, and I'm very lucky to not even come close to regretting that decision. We basically gained something of everything from that. So we're up to 11 cents, and a really good opportunity to get something 15 centi from our shop here. Now, we did have the option to get the Ankh if we get the ability to fly. If, if we get the ability to fly, I would take it. Wow, we're very lucky here. Mysterious Liquid is a decent item, uh, probably a little bit better as a result of the other items we've got associated with it, but... Um, yeah, the uh, the Ankh I would pick up. I'd probably pick up the ability to fly regardless, but if we could pick up the uh, the Ankh with it, that's a little bonus to picking up a deal with the Devil ability to fly, if we can. Take the compass here. I'm a sucker for mapping, especially since there's been a lot of runs lately in which I have not gotten it. And you know what? I'm glad we didn't use the Emperor. Not that we would have just skipped the entire floor regardless, but... I'm glad we got a little bit more of a feel for how this floor works, and now we know that there's an, an onk kind of hanging about. Got an extra bomb, two extra pills, one's I found pills, I just take it just to, out of habit almost. And amnesia, again, I like taking amnesia pills right towards the end of the floor if you have to take them. Uh, now we know that the amnesia pill is here, and we'll never take it again. And we uh, didn't really lose out on too much, we already knew where everything was because we already explored everything. We get a damage upgrade. Speed plus, dam or speed plus damage in the form of growth hormones is really good. And yet another run starting with, unfortunately, no deal with the Devil precedent, precedent. But Lump of Coal would be great. We did not get Lump of Coal. We got Krampus' head. Uh, I will take Krampus' head and leave Magic Fingers behind. This is a disappointment. It has to be considered a disappointment. Again, no deal Devil... Or, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my brain right now. No deal with the Devil precedent means we're going to be... Um, Kind of scrounging for our next deal with the devil, which took three extra floors, I think, to find on our last run. Uh, ended up paying out with nine lives, which we didn't need, but was nice to have. So, I'm... Um, I would say unhappy is the right word. I'm not angry. I'm not saying unhappy in the diplomatic sense where people go, Oh, you know, I'm a little unhappy with you. What they actually mean is, like, fucking livid. I'm, I'm slightly displeased by, by what has happened here, and... I hope that on this floor, the game will give us a chance to uh, rectify the mistake that it has already made. And as a result, we'll, uh, you know, get the momentum that I feel like we've deserved. Not only on uh, this run, but on our last run as well. At least we have gotten the Krampus nonsense out of the way. But on the other hand, we didn't get Pandora's box. Which we did get on the last one. Spider Babby. It is just okay. In fact, I would probably go a step further and call this item actually kind of bad. But it's not uh, horrible. It's not a bad active item. It's just not a particularly strong passive item. It's no, um, you know, sister um, or sissy long legs. Still, again, it's hard to complain given our actual uh, our actual damage from chocolate milk, mysterious liquid, which has actually helped out a little bit here, quite a lot on on certain enemies, and um, cricket's body, which was another great pickup for us, but. We need a little bit more if we're going to start to ball out of control. And, and this is a run that has ball out of control ability. I actually feel like this is maybe our secret room, which is a little bit of an early guess for that. And now I look at it and I'm like, of course it's not our secret room. There's a room adjacent here, but we couldn't have known that in advance. But that's not really much to offer in my own defense because I shouldn't have looked in the first place until we already, you know, did our due diligence to check and see if that would actually be the case. But now I have no idea where the secret room is because it's not over on this side. Still happy I bought that spirit heart so we didn't have to deal with this nonsense and we basically just one hit the boss, pick up another speed upgrade and I think we would be stupid and I'll use the S word there um, to not uh, engage in a little bit more exploration on this floor. An eternal heart could make a big difference, not an eternal heart, but, I mean yes an eternal heart but um, what I mean to say is a, a, a spirit heart but we'll, uh, I mean we're not really strapped for time, we might as well do our due diligence and see what we've got going on over here. This pill is new and is not bad necessarily. Beyond that, we gain information. None of the pills thus far have really been good to the best of my memory, but we have, uh, we've gained a lot of information about pills that could be situationally okay, like explosive diarrhea, for example. 
Hopefully we do get an internal heart here, or a, a good opportunity to pick up something like Magic Mushroom. One key for three cents is not something I'd consider a strong deal, but hey, that was... Made it all worth it in like the final two seconds of this floor. I really appreciate that. And with eight bombs, I think I have a good beat on where our secret room could actually be now. Um, now that we've seen the entire floor layout, I should say, I believe it is... Oh, never mind. I thought it was like gonna, gonna be here. Uh... I really don't like this now, but I'll try down here. And that is indeed it. And we get Flatworm, which is uh, just about worth the cost of doing business here, I think. Our shots seem to have a little bit more shot speed, but I guess that's probably Speedball. So that mitigates the range problems that uh, Cricket's body can sometimes leave you. We're really hoping that we can get a... Uh, that we can get a... Uh, deal with the devil on this floor. So if we can blow up a judgment or something and, and try to swing that, that would be meaningful. Um, apart from that, we pretty much just, you know, put our faith in luck and hope that it works out for us. I'll blow those up if I end up getting the ability to fly on this floor, which I'm, I'm hopeful that I will, but that's uh, just about it. I can't have any, any more reasonable uh, expectations there. Uh, we will... Wait till we get Cricket's body. Or not Cricket's body, Krampus's head. Too many person object cards here. Um, charged. And then I think we go Curse Room, Emperor card, save ourselves that have Spirit Heart. I'm glad we saved it. Doctor's Remote is not good enough to get rid of Krampus's head for in any situation. At least we got a penny out of it and a Telepills, which has broken my heart a little bit. And slowed me down as well. Let's put a bomb down there. Not gonna use Krampus's head here because I want to save it for the boss. One bomb sorted out our problems anyway. All right, and we got one bomb back. Hmm, this is shaping up to be a little bit like the last run. Ah, that's pretty good at least. It's shaping up to be a little bit like the last run and then I just sort of don't understand how we managed to to swing too much on this run. We, we haven't really started to that usual ramp that you get when you're trying to get very powerful before the, uh, before the game ends. This could be a huge swing for us in reality here. This is something we haven't seen in a while, but I talk about it as if it's like the perfect combination for an early game uh, boss fight, and it is. Deal with the Devil Chance plus guaranteed Deal with the Devil item from the Fallen. We got the ability to fly, but no um, no Deal with the Devil. Disappointing, but actually a pretty good payout from the Fallen, all things considered. That's actually a, a really good Deal with the Devil item. Spirit of the Night, you know, a, basically a core item in uh, vanilla. Still at least half decent, especially for free. You might uh, dispute this being worth two hearts, which I believe is what it normally costs in, in Rebirth. But uh, for free, it's an, it's an easy pickup here. There is a double key room as well, and I've stayed away from it because I, I have like a standard order of operations here. We used our, our one key, or one of our two keys, I should say, for the item room. And then we used the other one for the shop because we didn't have two keys to get into that room. Now we have two keys, so we will go back and check it out. And honestly, you know, fuck Boss Rush, basically. If we can get a five room, I would love it. A four room would also be good. A one or a six room, I would do, but I would do so begrudgingly. Because I really like our damage right now. You know what? I might not even... I would. Like, I can, I can bluster about how I'm really proud of my Chocolate Milk uh, Cricket's Body run right now. But if it's a one or a six room, I would probably reroll my run because I always reroll my run when it's a one or a six room. I should have gotten mom's purse earlier. We got compass instead, but now I'm gonna have to give up flat penny for keys, or sorry, give up flat worm for keys, or give up uh, flat penny for flat worm. I really like the way flat worm makes my stuff look. I know that's not a good reason. Uh... Well, now I have the compass, so I can see that that is not a double key, or not a uh, compass, what am I trying to say? It's not a dice room. It's just a double key room with maybe chests or money or a donation machine. Yeah, just money. Uh, well, I'm glad I took flat penny for this room. We spent two keys to get a lot of money and then four keys. And let's just pop amnesia. It was not necessary, but saves me from having to hold down the control key and slightly slowing myself down, maybe. A little bit more money out of this. Ah, more keys is actually the, the principal draw there. There's another several. Wow. Okay, we're up to 10. Next floor, 100% chance, basically. I, as long as we don't take red heart damage, I'm pretty sure it's a literal 100% chance of a deal with the devil or angels. So, I 
I'm interested to see how our run ends up being defined. Right now, it's good, but it's not, it's still hanging in the balance a little bit. Oh man. This is Necropolis XL, so it really is starting to come down to it here. That's okay, this actually gives us a really good chance of getting to boss rush at least. And for once, I actually have an excuse. It's not like, um, you know, I'm just trying to get to boss rush quickly. Rather, this is, uh, this is the kind of trademark boss rush outcome, you know? You get an XL floor, it saves you like three minutes, so we're probably expected to get there. Now, I'm gonna be a little bit riskier than I should. Telepills does have the chance to pay out with an error room. I'm gonna assume that it's not going to, and we're gonna go fight the bosses right away so that I can get an item from Boss Rush quickly, and then just focus on spending as much time as I want on the floor. It's a bit of a calculated risk. Whether it's smart or incredibly stupid, we're about to find out in this particular situation. Long term, I think it's actually pretty stupid. <laughs> but short term, I have the option to do it, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, smart play, okay. There is a Tinted Rock here. I could use the small rock, I could use a golden chest, I, I could pretty much use it all. Only thing that would be salty is like a couple bombs, which is exactly what it paid out with. Alright. Mom's underwear. Uh, another range upgrade. We're getting to the point where like these range upgrades are not necessary anymore. Another tinted rock, and this one gave us two spirit hearts. Not a particularly strong uh, mom specific fight. We're like, you know, one cube of meat would change that, but I don't think that really affects how this run looks from a, a, a winning position right now. I do think it looks like a very, very winnable run. But it's largely on the back of those uh, those three items, like Mysterious Liquid, surprising effect here, and Cricket's Body, and, uh, and obviously Chocolate Milk, which we started with. So we'll take the Polaroid. Our deal with the Devil is Brimstone. I don't think anybody's going to be too mad at me taking this one, even though it fucks up Chocolate Milk a little bit, and Cricket's Body. Uh, we, worked, we worked for it. And you know what? I'm going to take the Mind over Daddy Long Legs. We're going to teleport out. And, well, it doesn't completely ruin chocolate milk. Because we do uh, have a slightly different laser color. But it's probably not what people are looking for. But anyway, I'm, I, we, we worked our ass off for that one. And if you're going to give me uh, low brimstone, or sorry, if you're going to give me low deal with the devil opportunities, I guess I should be happy that you at least made them uh, very, very good. This one has pretty much sealed our victory here. And... We'll take Hive Mind, we'll take Champion Belts, and we'll donate as much money as they'll let us. Hopefully we can get our donation machine going pretty fast and furious here. This now is shaping up to be a very, very fast run. Not that that uh, necessarily makes it better than any run that is a little slower than that. I'm, th I'm thankful we got Champion's Belt, though, because uh, our run was not particularly overpowered from a damage perspective. But from a, uh, a killing perspective, Cricket's Body and Chocolate Milk were really holding it down. Now, we've got to rely on our damage a little bit more. World card, uh, not really that useful. Magician, much more interesting with Brimstone. Um, now we've got to rely on our actual damage a little bit more, so the champion belt pickup is, is pretty nice. I mean, you'll notice I'm not killing things that quickly. Uh, we'll open this up. Yeah, Spider Bite, Spider Bite, also really good. I, I will admit, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit that I make mistakes sometimes, and I sort of wish I'd stuck with what we had because it was cool and it was also rarer, so I'll, I'll apologize a little bit for that. This run's still going to be fun. I still have fun on almost every Brimstone run, especially when they don't just give it to you outright, like we got it on the sixth floor here after getting nothing from our earlier deals with the Devil, because they basically did not exist. Uh, but, yeah, it, it might have been more interesting to stick with the other options, so I feel like I betrayed a little bit of my absurdity there, but I'll try to do better in the future. Um, or I'll try to be more... Uh, Absurd in the future, I should say. But for now, I'm enjoying what what is, you know, the norm for us on these runs, which has just been pretty staggering luck, even if it has taken a little longer than usual to get to here. But I, again, a very good start with the, uh, the Eden items we started with to begin with. The only thing that made me salty was that deal with the devil, uh, lack of deal with the devil precedent early. You could start me with an sh incredibly shit Eden star, but if I get deal with the devil precedent, I'm probably not going to complain as much. Guppy dreams, maybe? Nope. Spider dreams. Spider dreams. Spider dreams. Oh my god, it's a spider dream. How do they crawl like that? Oh, we want to go down to the next floor immediately, I think, and yes, okay, here we go. Look out! Decades of spider dreams. Are they strong? It's a dream. They can do anything. Telepathy, not a problem. 
Do to do, do to oblum. Look out! It is an arbitrary rhyme. They see you when you're sleeping. They know when you're awake. Pay your waitress. They know when you've been bad or good. Cause the spiders for spiders' sake. Let's uh, let's move along from this. But I don't really have much tactically to say about the rest of this run. It pretty much boils down to Isaac fucking double O one, which is basically. Don't get hit, hit enemies as much as possible, you know? A little bit of extra brimstone theory thrown in there, which is basically like, you know, maximize the number of enemies you hit with every single shot, but this this is stuff that is mostly pretty obvious, I think. Um, as far as like brainstorming synergies I want to see, we're, we're very unlikely to get the mulligan. The only place it can happen is on the chest. Um, I would like to get another deal with the devil with high damage stuff. If we're brainstorming Specifically chest items, spoon vendor is a big one. I would even take telepathy for dummies. Like that, that could be really cool for me in this situation. It's one of the very few situations in which telepathy for dummies is not total trash. I actually think it's pretty good with brimstone if you've got no other spacebar options. But we already picked up the mine, so we've we've really sorted this one uh, before it had a chance to unsort. Which is why I think that was so much better than Daddy Long Legs. But I'll admit it's kind of a it's a tough decision because Daddy Long Legs, you know, if you're playing as the Lost or something like that, you're like that's a that's a game winning item right there. Not game winning, but definitely, you know, lost helping. Rate of fire is so fast on this one as well. That's really good. We did get some damage, and then on our next deal with the devil, another ability to fly, which I will just take. Uh, may or may not give us a speed upgrade anymore, but I, I can't resist that darn cute flapping animation. And beyond that, um, we got uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility as a result. This could be nine lives right here, though. It was not. Temperance is meaningless for us here. I'm um, hoping for, hoping for a uh, an emperor card, but this magician card one day, I don't know who I'm gonna choose to use it against, but it's gonna look majestic. I'm, that's why I'm saving it. Kind of is like, you know, I, I don't want to shoot our wad. It'll be over in like 10 seconds here when we use our magician card. So we should try to get a little bit more, you know, value out of it. Just from an entertainment standpoint. This room could have been fun for it, but whatever. If that's our biggest problem, where do we use the Magician card for maximum entertainment value? I think we're probably fine. I'm leaving it at Telepills. Why would I do something that could possibly slow us down here? You know what? Okay, here we go. Magician card. Maybe not quite as <laughs> I'd use the Magician card and then immediately just kill everything by taking damage with a black card. Okay, well... Can't always get what you want, right? Actually, it might be a little bit of a longer mom's hard fight than we're used to with Brimstone, because we got no flies or spiders coming into it, uh, uh, presumably at least. So, uh, it's going to be on Krampus's head, which will do like half of the damage necessary. And then my Brimstone shots, which are a little weak, but really great for crowd control. Whoa, that is just terrible damage. I'm leaving the keys behind because I can't leave the keys behind. I mean, I, I I think I don't have to explain myself anymore. Which is not to say it's the right thing to do, but it is just like, you know, we're not going to need that key. We've done enough runs to know that key is not likely to end up making a difference. I'll get these bombs, though, because I want to be inconsistent and inspire frustration on occasion. Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm bleeding. That doesn't really rhyme, but you get the idea. Yeah, it could be a little faster. It's okay. I'm kind of used to this now on Mom's Hard. You can have some really fast Mom's Hard runs. You can have some pretty slow Mom's Hard runs. We already got Black Candle. No, that was last run when we had um, when we had the blank card per throw. So I'm actually very lucky that we did not get uh, uh, we did not get a curse here that makes us unable to see. I appreciate this actually. They've done a lot for me. I guess I didn't need that golden poop anyway. What do I want? Like money at this point? What you want? A house? A guitar? I don't, I'm not going to quote uh, all of that song. We get into dangerous territory fairly quickly, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, don't need petrified poop. <laughs> After talking about it, it finally showed up. A little late, but uh, not like we needed it on this run anyway, so no, no hard feelings either way. Another spirit heart. We should, at this point, we have enough keys. We should try to get more chests with rusted key. I don't know what our luck stat looks like, but it doesn't matter either way. Uh, it's so freeing to be able to bomb your way through rooms you do not want to deal with in the least. And this is going to be like a 26, 27 minute long brimstone run. You know, nothing to write home about, but a pretty good run, all things considered. 
Especially with the mind. Much appreciated. And an eternal heart that I, I tried to back away from at the last minute because I realized, wait a minute, this is actually bad for me. Um, but I, I fucked it up. Oh well. We're going to get some HP for the next floor that we probably won't be able to give away unless we get like a really random Joker card. Not random, but you know what I mean. Oh! Spider Babby! Those are actually going to do quite a lot of damage. Yeah, let's uh, generate more of those on purpose because I was totally doing that on purpose. I was generating those spiders on purpose because I'm Mike Lowry. keep ourselves back here. First I was like, oh shit, is, is Mike Lowry also a professional basketball player? Then I realized, no, that's Kyle Lowry for the Toronto Raptors. If the Blue Jays take the World Series this year, man, it's going to be Toronto TakeOver. Look for Toronto FC in the CONCACAF Champions League. People are right now are like, what the fuck is that? Uh, it's the North American Champions League for the winners of MLS and then all the people in, you know, Honduras and Panama and you know, uh, Central America that will then eventually lose to Mexico, who will eventually go on to win the whole thing with, like, Cruz Azul or something like that. Um, want this. And then, obviously, the Leafs are super poised to win the cup this year. That's me being sarcastic. Um, hmm, this is a decent place to stand to get that started, at least. Come on, get one done. Yeah, okay, one's dead. Um, and then, uh... Definitely the Raptors, man. Probably the powerhouses in the East right now. But the Blue Jays have got to get it started. No pressure. Use the world card. That seems very valuable for us right now. Oh, Mom's Eye. With Guillotine, is this actually maybe better in its own weird fashion? I don't know. Perhaps. I, I really have no idea, to be honest with you. What I do know is I should really stop taking such dumb damage because it's not going to last forever. We have Curse of the Unknown, and it, it's a temptation to just think that that means that we are invincible, but we're really not. See, there's there's what I was thinking with uh, Mom's Eyes, that it is a little riskier to put ourselves in that position. But when we get to fi uh, fire at both enemies at once, it's actually quite valuable. Oh man, I got hit twice there. I'm a little scared, I'm not going to lie. I'd like to do this room, and I'm glad I did. It'll take us to the secret room, where we will find a black heart, which is exactly what I wanted. Good stuff. Okay, don't take more damage. Hopefully this ends up being the easier path. Fucking guillotine, man. I always take it because of the extra, like, it both breaks the tear cap. And then I always end up being like, ah, shit. I should not have taken this at all. Joker, maybe? Joker. Two of hearts. That is worthless. Should have killed Gemini last for a... Or, uh, Gluttony, Gluttony last. Now, I can't start getting Gemini confused with Taurus and Gemini confused with fucking Gluttony. This is just getting too far now. We're through the looking glass. I don't know what that means, but people say it. I know it's a reference to JFK. The movie, not the person. But the movie, I guess, is kind of, you know, a reference to the, the person and the events surrounding their death as well. So you get the idea. Okay, yum heart. Not worth anything. Don't take damage here. I know we picked up, uh... We picked up a red heart. Or, sorry, we picked up a black heart. So I'm gonna be fine to get hit at least twice. Presumably without dying. Not because we have the wafer or anything like that, but because I'm assuming we still had some spirit arts backing ourselves up as well. Like I said, sub-26 is looking pretty accurate here. Don't teleport. Don't teleport. Perfect. That hurts. There goes our black heart. Really should try to avoid taking damage again. It's a novel strategy. I'm kind of very displeased with my performance on this run. But we won regardless. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.